So Wednesday saw the transfer window slam shut and while all you had to do was sit and wait for transfers to happen, we at Ball Street had to work for 12 hours straight on Ball Street Transfer Deadline Day Live. The thing about doing Deadline Day Live is what to, what to do during the time when transfers aren't happening, i.e. most of the time. Let's play games and make the losers do forfeits someone for. We'll make it a competition between Ball Street South and Ball Street North. The problem is I'm really bad at games and I lost and I lost, and I lost. So here's a quick overview of the forfeits I had to do. A few of you are gonna enjoy this. Is that something you wanna be wearing? I would be wearing. Not sure you're getting your breath back in that, if I'm perfectly honest. Flav, Flav's off. Flav, they are off! Flav! He started with a pen. needs to use his arms. This is like Mo Farah! This is him. Look! How old is Pep? Flav is tagging, right? We're ready for the tag. It's the point he got his birthday against. We do in these challenges, North versus South every hour. The last challenge in the last hour, was Flav and Callum versus Ped and Elliot in a foot race to the other end of the car park and back. So the forfeit was uh, an hour in the luchador mask. Is, is this even humane? Yeah. Are you gonna fasten them in? Yes! Oh my! <laughs> that should be it! That should be it! I'm not sure. I feel like I might give him that one. <laughs> That could definitely be it. Is it? Chew it as well. He's in. Chew. Oh, look at that. He's gone nonchalant. He's, he's fine. Look, he's oh, got a little. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think like it's giving him the kick of needs. Oh, hang on a second. Can I just? That looks like sweat. Oh my god. <laughs> he's glistening. Flav is glistening. That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I'd like to apologise for any one with two small children. Can someone give me my milk back, please? <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> that was the big one as well. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> so there you go. Um, Flav's clearly having it. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, fuck. Do not touch without gloves. <laughs> Avoid contact with eyes. <sighs> Wash hands <laughs> after preparation. Time for the final forfeit of the day. The group forfeits, the overall losers, the South. They always a song. I love, there's only you in my life. The only thing that's right. My first love. It wasn't the best birthday I've ever had. Two good things did happen though. Sissoko signed for Tottenham from Newcastle. I can't say I've ever been that impressed with him. And while I wouldn't have spent 30 million, I trust Pochettino in everything he does. What was good or borderline insensitive is that he apparently agreed to join Everton. Then Spurs came in and what happened? He turned his phone off. He nips down to London to a proper club and saves his career, which is fair enough. But it's like when you're on a night out with the boys and you're having a good time and the missus rings up and she's asking where are you and you know the handbrake's on, night done and you're sitting in a cab wondering why you didn't turn your phone off. The other one was Jack Wilshere. After all the piping up and the years of digging out Tottenham, the calling us out, the fans claiming he's the best English midfielder and now where is he? Facing a relegation dogfight with Bournemouth. Now there's two questions here. If he's that good, he stays surely. If he's fit, he plays, right? I mean, that's what I've been hearing all these years. If he isn't fit, then Arsenal trust Bournemouth to get him fit, to get him right, to make him healthy? Or did I not trust themselves to manage Jack Wilshere? That was more than two questions, to be fair. That said, it is a great signing for Bournemouth if they can keep him on the pitch. And that's the exactly the kind of player that you want to save you from relegation. What? What? What's wrong? Well, I have been talking about Arsenal every week, granted, but they just, they give me so much am ammunition genuinely interested in what's going to happen to Wilshire and So because I'm sick of talking about transfers as you are of hearing about them, I met Matt Gottrell, an Olympic gold medal winning rower and a Spurs fan. Among other things, we spoke about the male erection. This is uh, Matt, Matt Gottrell. Pleasure to be here. Why are you here, Matt? Might have done a little bit of a race uh, a couple of weeks ago now. Got myself one of these. <laughs> one of these. Got one of them? Do you know what, I, they won't know what that is, what is it? Uh, it's an Olympic gold medal uh, from the men's eight. So you would have thought, right, all you lot slagging me off on, on, on the old uh, YouTube comments, 
Olympian. What are you doing at home? Nothing. Commenting on this video. You're a big Spurs fan. Yeah, yeah. Another Winners. Fun. So you did a, a, a the men's eight to an Olympic race against how many other boats? Uh, so six boats in the final. So six boats in total in the final. And obviously everyone expects Britain to win. They do expect it, yeah. But it's been a, it's a tough season. I mean. Uh, Kind of had to do it on the day, and then uh, kind of put it all together. So I'm right in saying that you won this. This was one of two races you won that year. Uh, so you won the heat, right? Uh, so that was the heat. The winner went straight through to the final, and yeah. then we won the final. So. But you raced all these other boats and yeah. haven't won a wheel. Yeah, we'd, we'd be beaten by everyone all, all season. So there's only one race you need to win, and that was Olympic final. Week. And you're a Spurs fan. Yes, I am. Can I ask how many Arsenal fans were in, in the boat with you? In the boat? I'm going to say none, 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 none. Mm, none not a single none Arsenal fan in the boat. So you're a big Spurs fan? I think Pochettino's had an amazing impact on the team since taking over. For me, it's clear to see uh, being an athlete, right? You look at the, the fitness of the players and just the, the, the level they're now competing at, competing for everything, competing for every ball, chasing after everything. I think. Uh, it's, it's, it's been great to watch and something I can kind of relate to a little bit, which is, which is nice. So that work ethic you're talking about, um, that's something that must be carried over into Olympic road, surely? Oh, massive. Right? That's, all, that's all we do. Working hard. <laughs> yeah. It's all about putting the hours in yeah. uh, behind the scenes so you can perform on the day where it matters. Do you have a row as footballers' wages? Yeah, I'll take that, please. Yeah. Do, do you know the guy who was photographed with an erection after the after the rowing? Uh, personally, no, but it's quite fable in, in rowing now, as you can imagine. Is uh, it? Was it an erection? Oh, it's as close to it as I guess you can see, everyone can see. It's there for everyone to see. Well, I mean, you know, bravo if it wasn't. I don't know, there's lots of things, lots of... After an Olympic final, I'm sure there's lots of blood pumping around the body. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know where it could end up. Do you ever worry, did you ever worry a little bit about that might happen to you? I think, you, well, whilst something like that's happened, you've got to be a little bit wary. It's a normal bodily yeah, function, yeah. so there's nothing to be ashamed of. No, it's, no it depends. Talking Bulls will be back next Friday. Remember to subscribe to Bull Street. Leave your thoughts in the comments below, especially about Wilshire. I'm interested in what you Arsenal fans have to, have to say about what I've said, really. If you want to check out the Deadline Day live stream, the link is in the description below. I love you and I will see you next